Luxury liners are eye candy for just about everyone. Many already know that the world's most beautiful luxury liners are built at the Meyerwerf shipyards in Papenburg, but few suspect how much know-how is required for each of the many manufacturing steps. We at SLF are proud of two surface preparation installations that contribute to the shipyard's worldwide reputation. Shown in this video are a so-called free blast installation as well as a free spray coating installation. We erected a 25 by 10 meter free blast cabin in a new production hall operated by the M&G Dienstleistungsgesellschaft. Access to and loading of the blast area takes place via a 7 meter wide and 5 meter high sliding and folding gate. Here, two blasting technicians process workpieces with constantly changing dimensions. The room, which is completely lined with protective rubber padding, is uniformly illuminated at 650 lux by 90 dust-tight fluorescent lights. The protective suits are equipped with climate control and breathable air filters. In the machinery room, we see two pressure pots, each with a 200 liter capacity, as well as its own supply silo, which makes it easy to quickly swap out different kinds of blasting abrasive. Up to 12 tons of blasting abrasive can be stored here. The reprocessing loop for the blasting abrasive operates fully automatically. In the free blast chamber, expended abrasive is returned to the process loop when a stream of air dimensioned at 10,000 cubic meters per hour extracts the abrasive through an in-floor grate measuring 25 square meters. Dust is removed from the air in the room by two cartridge filter units that are, of course, equipped with an automatic cleaning system. The cabin has its own air treatment system dimensioned for a volume of 30,000 cubic meters per hour. The extraction and ventilation shafts are protected inside the wall that borders the machinery room. The cleaned workpieces now pass into the workshop through a side door or directly into the paint shop through another folding door. A manufacturing operation that processes workpieces with constantly changing dimensions is well served by a free spray area equipped with long range nozzle technology. Small parts require many intermediate process steps in which the workpieces would have to be moved into and out of a conventional coating cabin many times. In the case of this free spray installation, variable air flows are supplied to a workspace with two sequential processing lines that each measure 22 meters in length with an overall width of 10 meters. For this application, we installed 48 long range nozzles beneath the building ceiling and two in-floor ventilation ducts with a total extraction area of 45 square meters. After completing the prep work, the coating technician turns on the control unit and selects either the first or second section of the processing line. I'm now going to select unit one and enable the person recognition system. If a second worker needs to perform spray work, he selects unit two. This can be seen on the display. And he can also select motion tracking for his work area. The two units are completely independent of each other. If necessary, this second worker can also select the drying process. A central computer controls the percentage of fresh air and recirculated air and monitors filter performance by measuring the differential pressure. Using small camera modules and an optical recognition system, the control system tracks the position of the technician as he works. A motorized valve plate opens the long-range nozzles located above the technician. The inactive fields release only a small, undirected portion of air. The volume of circulating air in a single section amounts to 50,000 cubic meters of cleaned, heated air per hour. With an air settling speed of 0.3 meters per second, the overspray is pulled downward and is extracted through the in-floor ventilation ducts. This technology makes it possible to target the delivery of air even in buildings with higher ceilings. Instead of conventional grating, we installed heavy-duty impact separators in the floor area. Depending on which long-range nozzles are selected, the corresponding in-floor plates located beneath these nozzles are pneumatically lifted. In this way, the overspray is extracted in a targeted way from the respective work area, which prevents it from spreading to other areas of the workshop. 
The majority of the dry overspray collects in the impact separators. The stream of air then passes through a coating separator with eight cartridges containing filter mats that use a special deep capture design. Once the coating process is complete, the section is switched to dryer mode. Noteworthy here is that the built-in heat recovery unit achieves a heat exchange rate of up to 63% recovered heat. The installation is designed for a coating throughput of 20 kilograms per hour and has emission limits that fall below the 3 milligrams per cubic meter limit mandated by Germany's TA Luft emission law. For the work processes that occur here, the ability to select a section of each part of the hull makes for fast and economical work. These process steps require little or no extra work when the paint shop and assembly hall are one and the same. When will you use our know-how to boost your productivity.